Hey guys, it's Sarah, and today we are celebrating Christmas in July. If you don't know already, I participate in a Christmas book exchange with my friend Krista from Books and Jams and Lindsay from Lindsay's Little Library. And every December, we will do a big Christmas book exchange. We have done 12 books for each person and we exchange them. We spend the entire year collecting books for each other and then we send them to each other and we do unwrappings on our channels. And it is so much fun <laughs> and we treat it almost like a huge book recommendation. Not only are they recommending books to me, but it's also if you, if they think I would like the book and you have the same taste as me, maybe you would like it as well. And we have gotten such good feedback from you guys about it. A lot of you seem to really like it. A lot of you seem to get a lot of book recommendations from those videos between the three of us. So that's like the whole point, which is really awesome. And we are gearing up for another one in December. However, we wanted to do a little mini one in July because Christmas in July is kind of a thing. <laughs> a lot of people do kind of Christmassy type things in July. And so we thought it'd be fun to do a Christmas in July book exchange. And the reason we're doing it is because number one, we're bringing in another booktuber to do it with us this year. And she will be doing it in December with us as well. And that is Amanda from The Curly Reader. So she is joining us. And so we thought this would be kind of like a fun little thing to kind of introduce the fact that Amanda is going to be doing it with us. And then she can kind of be part of this one as well. And then another reason is because I briefly mentioned that we were gearing up for another exchange. And so many of you guys were so excited <laughs> about that. So we thought it'd be fun to bring you like a little mini one. So this is not going to be a huge thing. It's only one video. It's today on July 25th. And we have sent each other two books each. So I have two books from Krista, two books from Amanda, two books from Lindsay, and I'm going to unwrap them all today. The other girls are also unwrapping all of theirs today as well. So I will leave all of their channels linked down below. Please make sure you go check them out. Watch their unwrappings. I'm so nervous. I get so nervous <laughs> every time because I want them to like the books that I sent. And, um, yeah, so we're going to unwrap these today. I'm so excited. They've been sitting here and I'm just like, oh, I don't like having books sitting here that I don't know what they are yet. So um, we keep up on each other's wish lists. We keep up on um, what we've read and what we haven't and what we own. So it's kind of a process to collect the books for each other because we could think of a book and we just want to make sure, you know, I want to make sure Lindsay hasn't read this book or owned this book already. And if you know, the four of us, we all own a lot of books. All of us. Okay, so we're gonna get on to the unwrapping. I'm gonna start with Krista's. Krista's came in this gorgeous, like, Amazon bag. And I know that there's extra stuff in here. She told me there's some treats in here as well. So we're gonna go ahead and open this one first. So these are two books from Krista, plus a little extra, <laughs> a little extra goodies. We usually do extra goodies in December for sure. Um, I did not send any extra goodies this time, but um, in December I will definitely. Oh, yes. Okay. So Krista has a subscriber uh, from Canada who sent her a bunch of treats and um, she tried them on camera and talked about them and stuff. And then um, she got another big box of treats and I told her, I was like, I want those. <laughs> like, I want to try those so bad. And she sent them to me. So these are ruffles. These are all dressed ruffles. So it's got like, looks like onion and peppers and maybe vinegar possibly. I've never heard of these or seen them anywhere. I'm so excited to try them. Oh my gosh, Krista, what are you doing? Oh, eat more. <gasps> Dark toffee. Oh, I love toffee. I've never heard of these either. So these are all from like Canada. Um, so she took some of her huge box that she got and sent us some, so it's nice. Okay, Cadbury mini eggs. We do get these here, but they are delicious. And one more. Coffee crisp, yes. I have not heard of these either, but you know your girl loves her coffee. Speaking of coffee, Krista, what are you doing? It says, you've got this, you've got this, you've got this. Yes, that is so gorgeous. Oh, I like that. And it's like little, oh, I like this a lot. Thank you, Krista. And that's a good size. Like, 
I like my coffee. I need, I need a good mug. Thank you so much. I love that. And <laughs> I might tell myself that quite a bit. Thank you, Krista. Thank you. Okay. Now to the books. Let's see. Two books in here. Okay, number one. So we always write little um, things on why we got this book for the other person. So let's see what number one says. Saw this on your to read shelf. Ooh, so it's on my wish list. Let's see. What is that? <gasps> um, I'm laughing. I am laughing. Hang on. Krista. Oh my gosh. So, um, Krista and I met in person finally back in June. We met up at a library sale, um, where I live. And, um, <laughs> the funny thing is I saw this at the library sale and I almost like, I even made a comment. I was like, should I get it? I didn't get it because there was um, some rips, like, part of the cover was torn, like you couldn't see the writing or anything on the spine. And I was like, Ooh, is that going to bother me? She said, it's going to bother you. You shouldn't get that. <laughs> I was like, yeah, you're right. I shouldn't get that. Little did I know it was sitting in her car waiting for me <laughs> to pick it up. <laughs> so thank you, Krista. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited for this. This is Circe by Madeline Miller. I have been wanting to read this for so long. Like I can't even talk about it. Um, ever since I read Song of Achilles, I really, really wanted to read this one. Um, so it is based on Circe from Greek mythology. That's all I really know. I don't want to go into it like knowing a whole lot because Song of Achilles really surprised me and I really want this to surprise me as well. So uh, thank you, Krista. So that's funny. She was probably like, don't you dare pick that up. <laughs> okay, number two. I read this ages ago and loved it. Ooh. Let's see what this is. <gasps> Ooh, yes. Okay, Things Fall Apart by Chinua Achibe. Ach Achibe, yeah. Okay, this is on the Great American Reads list, which has it on my radar because I want to read through that entire list. I've seen this at a couple of bookstores recently and like, contemplated picking it up, but I just never did. Um, I always just kind of thought, oh, I'll get it eventually. It's fine. Um, but yay. So thank you. Oh gosh. This is a beautiful book. Um, yeah. So, oh, thank you. Thank you, Krista. Okay. So these two plus candy plus a coffee mug. <sighs> I love you. All right, so next we will do Amanda's. I will say before I get to the books, um, you know, I took these out of the box when I when I got it and um, Amanda had a couple of bookmarks in there which are super cute so what she's been doing is taking old VHS videos of like Disney movies that she finds at Goodwill for like 10 cents each because VHS no one even watches those anymore and she will cut them apart and make bookmarks out of them and then she laminates them how cute is that so we have Aladdin and um Lady in the Tramp <laughs> So, and then the back, she'll cut out like the character um, images and stuff and layer them up. How cute is that? Oh, it's so cute. Oh, this one was upside down. Sorry. Isn't that adorable? Oh my gosh. So love these. Thank you. Okay. So these are not numbered. So uh, this is going to be the first one that says getting Minnesota vibes. So it's probably either set in Minnesota or by a... Minnesota author. I guess we'll see. Okay. I'm trying to make it a little bit of a surprise. Let's see. Ooh, she wrapped these good. Look at that. There's like layers. <gasps> oh, yes. Yay. Oh, I've been wanting to read this. I added this to my wish list after Krista... And I think Amanda read it too as well um, after they read it and absolutely loved it. Krista just like raved and raved about this. Um, so I added it to my wish list. Yay. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay. So this um, it tells an indigenous story about um, 
people who are living on this land. And it's in Minnesota in 1932. And I believe they're on the run from something as well. Maybe a crime was committed or something. So they're kind of being forced to live off the land. So that's what I'm remembering from the synopsis. So, oh, I'm so excited. Thank you, Amanda. Book number two from Amanda says, I know you wanted to watch this show. So this one has an adaptation. Okay. What is a show that I've been wanting to watch that has an adaptation? A lot. <laughs> let's be real. <laughs> um, so let's see. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. I have been wanting to watch this. The Flight Attendant by Chris... Bojalian? Bo Bojalian? Bojalian? I don't know how to say his last name. So I'm not even going to pretend that I do. Um, yes, this is had been adapted for HBO Max, I think it was on. And it has um, Kaylee Kukul in it. I've heard really, really good things about this show. And it definitely got me interested in it. So yay. Thank you, Amanda. So yes, Amanda. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, and now we're going to get into Lindsay's. All right, so first one from Lindsay. She makes the cutest little tags and she makes them. Like, she's amazing. Okay, so family drama on a vacation. What could go wrong? Nothing. Nothing could go wrong. Family drama on a vacation. Ooh! Okay, this is The Jet Setters by Amanda Air Ward. Um, I have definitely been interested in this. I've seen it going around quite a bit. Um, this is a little bit of an older release, but um, I've always, it's always captured my attention because number one, just look at the cover. It's so cute. Um, and it was a Reese's Book Club pick as well. So this sounds like a perfect summer read. Yes, thank you. Hey, last one. This is the second one from Lindsay. And this one says, a favorite author of ours that takes place in an ancient adventurous country. Okay, favorite author of ours, so it's both of us. Gosh, that could be so many. Um, that takes place in an ancient adventurous country? Ancient country. Oh gosh, I legitimately have no idea. All right, let's find out. It's Jody. I see her face. It's Jody. Ancient adventurous country. I don't know what that could be. You know, because you're. Oh, it's the book of two ways. Okay. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, book of two ways. Um, this is, I believe, following a woman on a flight and maybe the plane goes down and then she has the opportunity to go one way or another way she could either go back to her life or she could go a different way I think that's what I'm remembering from the synopsis of this awesome thank you so much Lindsay I don't have this one I love Jodi Picot she is 100% one of our favorite authors um and I haven't read anything from her for a while. I really need to. I really, really need to. So this will probably be the first one that I get to when I start picking her books up again because it's been so long. Um, but yes, thank you so much. Ooh, I'm excited. Two very yellow books from Lindsay. I love it. Yellow and blue. Look at that. That's so funny. <laughs> so thank you, Lindsay, so much. Okay, guys. These are what my friend sent me just now. Christmas in July. <sighs> I'm feeling very blessed. My friends know me so well. They know what I want to read. They know what I'm interested in. They know what I want. Oh gosh, ladies. Once again, you've outdone yourself. Oh, I love it. Um, okay, so that's it for my video. Please go check out the other ladies and watch theirs. I'm going to be watching theirs today as well. And I'm so nervous. <laughs> I'm so nervous about it. So <laughs> that's the most nerve wracking part is I just, I know I'm going to be happy with what they sent me. I hope that they're happy with what I sent them. So that's like, ooh, I always get so like just nervous whenever I watch their videos, <laughs> but that was so much fun. So Christmas in July, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, let me know if you have read any of these books, what should I prioritize? And um, did you get any new recommendations from these at all? 
please let me know that as well. Have you heard of all these? And yeah, just make sure you go check out the other ladies as well. And we will be back in December doing another book exchange with the four of us now. So it's going to be a ton of fun. All right. Hope you guys are having a great day and I will see you again soon. Bye.